hello students welcome to class once again so my name is miss vera udogu your busy science tutor and today we'll be talking about force and force fields so learners at the end of this lesson you should be able to define force you should be able to describe what force can do to objects. And finally, you should be able to describe two main categories of force. What is force? Force is a push or pull in a particular direction, which results from an object interaction with another object. So there must be an interaction between two objects for force to exist. So, pulling is the force you exert to move something closer to you. When you pull a block, it moves towards you. Just like what is illustrated on the left hand side of the slide. A little girl is pulling a block towards herself. Okay, the opposite of pulling is pushing. Now, pushing is the force you exert to move something away from you. When you push a block, it moves away from you. As you can see, our little girl is move, pushing the block away from herself. So, we are going to identify different things force can do for us. Let's go. So, different things force can do for us. One, force can make the object move. Force can make an object move. Secondly, Force can change the direction of an object. If you look at the right hand side of the slide, you will see a girl playing a volleyball. Force can only make the volleyball move across the other side of the net. And thirdly, force can make a moving object to speed up. Just like the little boy riding on a bicycle, force, when applied, can speed up the moving bicycle. And finally, force can stop a moving object. Just like when you catch a moving ball. So there are two categories of forces. There are contact forces and non-contact forces. So, your contact forces result when two objects are touching each other. Contact forces is present when two objects are touching each other. So, below are different examples of contact forces. The first is dribbling a basketball. The second is kicking a soccer ball. And the last is hitting a shuttle cock. In these three examples, two objects are touching each other. So, the non-contact forces act on an object without coming in contact with another object. So, there is no touching of each other. The objects are not touching each other for non-contact forces. And we have three types under it. We have the gravitational force, the magnetic force, and the electrostatic force. So let's look at each of the non-contact forces. The first is the magnetic force. Now, Magnetic force is a force that attracts or repels magnetic objects. 
this has to do with mainly magnetic objects the force that attracts or repels them is what we call the magnetic force it is the push or pull exerted by a magnet so the second is gravitational force gravitational force is the force by which an object attracts another object towards itself for example the earth pulls objects towards itself due to its gravitational force that is why they say anything that goes up will always come down so if you throw a ball into the air it will surely come down so the last type of non-contact forces is electrostatic force now this is a force that exists between electrically charged particles electrically charged particles when we have a group of these particles in close together electrostatic forces exist so i want to know how well you understood what i taught you today so what is force you're going to tell me what force is secondly you are going to let me know what you can do with force what can force do for you and finally give examples of the two main categories of forces all right so we've come to the end of today's class it was an eventful one thank you so much for listening and i hope to see you in my next class bye for now